flowers. I've just washed them. Um, I have some different varieties here. I've got the Kung Pao pepper. These are Caribbean Serrano peppers. They're pretty dang hot. And I've got cayenne pepper. And then these are just red, um, like chili peppers. So, um, here's some that I've already, they're partially done. They're not all the way done. They're still like squishy. So they're not ready to be processed yet. You could use any hot peppers that you want. I grew these ones in my garden. I'm just taking the tops off of them. And then I'm going to put them in my food processor here, my Ninja and chop them up. All right, so you just go ahead and take the top of them like this. Pull the tops off. Put them in your food processor. They should get to a point where they're pretty dry. They just like crumple up. I don't know if you can see that. But Really, we probably don't even need to put them in here. We could just crumple them up with our fingers, but we'll go ahead and do it this way. These are really potent. When you start pouring them into your container, your nose is probably going to start burning, and I've been sneezing my head off, but... Anyway, just put them in the container that you want to put them in. I just am putting mine in a, a canning jar, and they have these cool little lids that you can put on top when you're drying your own herbs. So I'm just going to put that on top. And that's, that's that. So that looks pretty cool. And it's a good way to use up all the hot peppers that you have left in your garden.